really have a right to be treated respectfully. We are well, unfortunately well, running out of time, but Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? Uh, not particularly, and, and if, if there was some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, you know, it always goes back to that old adage: sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist. Peter well, that, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lloyd, Sorry, you have, to, you have to give me a I chance we'll to respond to that. That discussion. is ridiculous. That no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond Go to on, that. Go on, Kate, have a word. Come on, that's ridiculous. I mean, that, first of all, that like, first of all, to allow somebody on air. This is a women's rights movement. We're asking for equality, and to to just come on and say that kind of thing. And secondly, he keeps saying this is a trivial issue. This is a trivial issue that it doesn't happen very often. The reality, as you know from talking to women in the street, is that they all have words that bother them. This is something that affects loads and loads of women. And if he's not affected you by just it, said this well, lucky just him. About women. And if he thinks he's going to take that privilege and just wander on air and say obnoxious things about a campaign for equality, then that is horrific bigotry and I but object it's, but it's to it not being about there equality there because time. they didn't bother it's to disgusting. analyse what men think. It's not about equality. Look, if anything, this is probably... The use of language in pet names is probably something that could be classed as a microaggression and that means that the corresponding trauma yeah, and when is, those equa happen, is equally minuscule and, over, and isn't and worth talking about. Peter Lloyd, Kate Smurthway, I'm afraid we really, really are out of time there, but thank you both very much for your thanks. contributions.